Hi guys, it's Rizolka, and um, yeah, this is Eagle Eyes Mysteries, which you probably haven't seen for a little while, but um, yeah, I started this game on June 1st, 2009, and if my plans have gone correctly, um, this should be going up on June 1st, 2010, for my first year anniversary of LPing and doing various other things, so... Jennifer and I are going to start off with the case of the Midnight, midnight Masquerade. Masquerade. I know I'm crazy. But yeah, so uh, I thought it'd be kind of poetic that this lasted exactly a year. Um, I probably could have finished it earlier if I, you know, burned Eli, down on it. Jennifer here. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer, I need your help. I caught a thief at our masquerade party. He tried to steal the priceless emerald pendant from my friend, the actress Amy Jolana. Wow, Mr. Starr, good thing you caught him. But why do you need our help? Well, because someone here at the party is in cahoots with the scoundrel and I can't figure out who. Come on over to the Richview Historical Society and hurry. Bye. Now, book... Ooh. Only one location. Oh my god. Now, things that we can notice about this... That, oh my good god. That's a bit different to a normal case. Um, these aren't... They're, they're not books. It's not like it used to be, you know, book one, book two. We're now in something called the challenge book. So these are probably actually going to be difficult, especially since I've switched it up to, I, from memory, I have it set to adult. So, <laughs> oh god, I hope we can work this out. These people are all in costume, and look, Mr. Star is holding someone for the police. We better get the full story from him. Good lord. Never seen so many things in one scene. Oh, sorry, Jack. I meant to speak to... <laughs> Look, I don't know who took Amy Jolana's emerald. I can only tell you Nicola Hamble didn't do it because I'm still in love with her. Whoa, 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 Chuck. Nobody said she did it. But how do you know she's innocent? Oh, well, I, uh, I was watching her the whole time. Even in the dark. I could see her. Nicola never stopped dancing. So she couldn't have been the thief. Uh, were, were you dancing with anyone, Chuck? <laughs> yeah, sure. I I just can't remember who I was with. It wasn't Nicola Hamble. That's all I know. Sorry. Hey, Mr. Star. Thanks for coming so quickly, kids. While we wait for the police, let me tell you what happened at our midnight masquerade. It wasn't really midnight, but the lights were off and the, the blinds were drawn. We were dancing in pairs by candlelight. I was dancing with someone dressed up in a big green costume. I don't know who it was. Then Amy screamed that someone had grabbed her pendant. It was too dark to see anything, but I heard the click of a door shutting. So the next chance, I ran into the next room, and I found this guy trying to run away. He had the pendant in his hand. Good thing I'm dressed up as one of the three musketeers. I whipped out my rapier <coughs> and yelled, On guard! Did I tell you I played... Dit D'Artagnan, the famous swordsman when I was an actor. This guy surrendered and I placed him underneath citizens for arrest. Trouble is, he didn't grab the pendant. He never even came into the room. Someone else here stole the emerald from around J Amy's neck and passed it to my prisoner here through the side door. We need to know who the real thief is so the police can arrest them both. Until we find out, nobody leaves this room. Maybe you can tell us who this guy was working for. I'm afraid that right now I suspect Mr. Green. He's the only one who admits he wasn't dancing. The crook couldn't dance with someone and grab the jewel at the same time. Or could he? You got it all right. You got me all right, but you'll never figure out who my partner is. I'm shutting up till I talk to my lawyer. All right, who's this dude at the back? Oh, hey, Nicola Hamble. This is no fun. One of the people in this room is a criminal, and Mr. Starr won't let anyone out until we figure out who it is. Don't worry, Nicola. Rizalka can work it out who it is. Can you tell us what you think happened? Mm, let's see, who was I dancing with? We danced partners so many times. 
When Miss Jolana screamed, I was dancing with a man who didn't have a hat on. That's all I remember. Mm, do you have any idea who might have passed the jewel to the thief? Mm, no, I, I don't. Sorry. Man who didn't have a hat on. Well, most of the... Well, I suppose he doesn't have a hat on. And he doesn't have a hat on. And he doesn't have a hat on. Anyway, let's speak to Amy. <laughs> Gah! It's me. <laughs> it's Amy Julana, the famous actress. Gosh, she's beautiful. Let me tell you what happened, detectives. Perhaps you could get to the bottom of this mystery. It was dark, and we were dancing and having a good time. We changed partners so many times. Are you sure you were dancing and not doing something else? And then, uh, suddenly a hand came out of the dark, and in a flash, my emerald pendant was gone. I screamed as loud as I could. That is a scream I only use usually used for horror films or nasty directors, and it's really loud. Who are you dancing with? Could that person could that have person grabbed your pendant? Let me see. It was a man in a big hat. It must have been Mr Green or Mr Starr or perhaps Chuck. And no, my partner did not grab the pendant. The hand came around from behind. Just how you like it. Do you have any idea who might have grabbed the jewel and passed it on to the thief Mr Starr caught? No, obviously it was not myself, and I think Mr. Starr's heroic actions place him above suspicion. But many people have admired my jewel. I'm sure any one of them would have loved to have had it for their own. Who's in the cool. alien? Oh, it's Mrs. Case. Mrs. Case, what an excellent costume. Thanks, Jennifer and Rizalka. It's fun, but a little hard to dance in. Where, were you dancing with anyone when Amy Jolana screamed? Oh, yes. It certainly keeps me off the dance floor. It oh, sir, certainly takes a lot to keep me off the dance floor. I can't really... I can't see really well through these bug eyes, but I know that my partner had some kind of hat or wig on his head. Do you have any idea who might have passed the jewel on to the thief? No, I don't. I could probably see... I can barely see past my tentacles in that darkness. Who's this? Oh, good God. Oh, dear. As president of the Historical Society, I'm afraid this is all my fault. You're not the president. Mrs. Arnold's the president. <gasps> Mrs. Arnold's dead. I'm afraid it's all my fault. It was my idea to have a masquerade ball in the middle of the day. I thought it would be fun. Now look what's happened. We'll try to fix things, Mrs. Harper. Can you tell us what happened? I was dancing with... Mm, I'm not sure who, but he was dressed all in white. Then Miss Jolana screamed, and I stopped dancing and rushed around to turn on some lights. When I did, we saw that Mr. Starr had captured that horrid man. Do you have any idea who might have passed the jewel on to the thief? Well, you know I'm not one to repeat gossip, but I heard Swank's hotel is not doing so well. Rumor has it that someone who works at Swank may be out of the job real soon. Dressed all in white. Well, you were either dancing... No, you were probably dancing with him, then. Oh, uh, Mr. Pelosky! When Amy Jolana let out that lail, I thought it would be the end. She really belted out. I was cheek-to-cheek -cheek with the gorilla at the time, so it couldn't have been us that snatched the jewel. Hey, who's underneath all that fur? It's me, Silva <laughs> Sylvia Torres. Well, it is rather warm in here. I hate to admit this, but I noticed that Mr. Green wasn't dancing at the time. I bet he stole the necklace. If a guest was dancing with someone else, like me and Queen Kong here, they couldn't have taken the jewel. Hmm, I don't know about that. What bothers me about that man? <laughs> but something about that man, Sergio, bothers me. No, not Sergio! Why doesn't anyone tell him? <laughs> Does he tell anyone his last name? I think he could be a criminal on the run. It's possible, you know. Well, you're talking to his boss. His boss probably knows. Sergio, you look great in your white chef's outfit. But where's your chef's hat? <laughs> I didn't wear a hat. I think chef's hat look f silly. Uh, I know what you mean. Can you tell us what you saw? I was dancing with a woman. I'm not sure which one. She was wearing a mask. That's why people have costume parties. There's so much mystery. Anyway, this woman and I were dancing when Amy Jolana screamed. Do you have any idea who might have passed the jewel on to the thief? Mm, lots of people were admiring her necklace. The, the emerald was huge. I remember that Mrs. Harper, Mrs. Case, and Mr. Green seem most fascinated by the pendant. How do you guys notice these things when you don't even know who you're dancing with? Hey, Ms. Mr. Green, you've got some beautiful hair now. 
Guilty, guilty, guilty. I sentence your children to a lifetime of solving mysteries. No! What brings you to our midnight masquerade, eh? We're here to investigate the crime, Mr. Green. Someone tried to steal Amy Jolana's emerald, did you know? Oh, heavens no. I wondered what all the fuss was about. I heard the scream, but I thought someone had lost a contact lens or something. Theft, how dreadful. How did you not notice? And we're out of time, so we'll be back in the next episode. Bye-bye.